Ladies and gentlemen, the ergonomic moment you've all been waiting for. Applied prone peak positioning. This is the most challenging position to work on, but it's also the position that's going to give us opportunity to use all the tools we've learned and the observational skills up to this point. Our assistant today is Sam DeSkeleton, who is perfect because he's all bones. Now, on a flat table, this works perfectly, but none of your clients are all bones. You'll see Sam lies perfectly on a flat table on his bony structure. Now, we add some soft tissue, like most people, and I'm talking men as well as women, have soft tissue in the chest area as well as the abdomen. So we'll start with the chest and show now Sam is not on his bony structure, okay? Uh, this is where the Nirvana table comes into play. So we're going to remove the insert and right away you see relief for the soft tissue, support on the bony structure. We're going to do a detail of the thoracic spine now. On the Nirvana table, we're going to take the insert out and show you how we get relaxation in the upper thoracic region. Moving up to the head, uh, we are now going to address the cervical region. One of the key points in peak positioning is we're trying to achieve a neutral posture. Where you find there's postural variations outside the norm, we want to apply peak support. One of the main problems with traditional headrests is it does not support a neutral spine. Too often, the client's face will actually fall through due to insufficient support. Also, as pressure is applied to the upper back, it will have a tendency to exaggerate that. That is why we have the ergo strap uh, by Nirvana to act as a safety strap so the head cannot go past the danger point where you get a hyperextension in the cervical spine. I want to show you an example of incorrect positioning of the cervical spine. This is very common. What will be experienced with an incorrect position is possibly tension in the neck, pressure on the sinuses, and I know you've heard that. And if it goes too far, you can actually have hyperextension of the neck. What many therapists do in an attempt to correct this is adjust the headrest in various positions that can actually end up causing more sinus pressure and discomfort in the cervical spine. What we've done now is we've corrected the distortion in the cervical spine by tightening the Nirvana strap on the headrest. And you see we have a very nice neutral position in the spine, which will allow much more relaxation and more effective treatment. Integrated with the Nirvana cutout and the breast recess, you see we have an integrated system from table to headrest to allow you to achieve optimal treatment results. Also, most of your clients have some soft tissue in the abdominal region. So again, <clears throat> to apply pressure, being supported by the soft tissue and not the bony structure. You remember in one of the demonstrations, we talked about using Nirvana wedges underneath the, the pelvis. This is where you can check that. As you're applying pressure, are we supported by the abdomen or the ilium? Okay, and if you slide your fingers under and you see some space 
between the table and the ASIS, the anterior superior iliac spine, you may want to support with your wedges. And all we need to do is push the wedges in just so it makes contact. And now you see, applying pressure, we're supported by the ileum. If you find that you need a little more support for the lower back, all we do is push the wedges in. The further you push, the higher we go. Now we have a fully supported body on the bony structure. What you do is you grab the anterior superior iliac spine, see if there's any space there, and if there is, we're going to support that with two wedges. Now we only need to push them in just far enough to contact the anterior superior iliac spine. So when we apply pressure now, the body is being supported by the bony structure. In some cases, you'll need to support the ribs too. And I'll demonstrate that with another set of wedges. And now we're fully supported, so when you apply pressure on the back, there's no pressure on the soft tissue. Okay, Sam, are you ready for your treatment now? I'm going to finish uh, the bolstering for Sam, and that means a bolster underneath his ankles. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> we are now ready to demonstrate applied prone peak positioning. We're going to start by bolstering the areas that need attention, and we'll start with the legs. And uh, just a note about prone position now. We have the uh, head and neck in neutral position. We have access clearance with the Nirvana table through the neck recess. Uh, pressure is off the soft tissue, chest and abdomen. Body is supported by the bony structure with the support of the Nirvana wedges. Our client is comfortable. And let me tell you one thing. Clients put up with a lot of discomfort in prone position, and they will not let you know. Oftentimes, they think it's just a price to pay for getting a massage on their stomach. And this clearly shows that we can support them in a, in a, in a new way, in a much better way, so that our treatment is going to be much more effective. Okay, so we'll now begin our treatment protocol starting with the arm, releasing the shoulder. Okay, pads coming out. Moving down the leg. Of course, we'll demonstrate this on a live person whose hip doesn't fall out of the hip socket. <laughs> and the leg, again, you can clearly see the rotation in the knee and the hip. Come on, Sam, you got to put some weight on, please. Complete the other arm. More traction. Some attention on the shoulders. 
And a, and a final point, many people think that support in the prone position is just for women. While men and women are clearly different, they are not different in the need for ergonomic support and to have the body supported by the bony structure in prone position. Thank you very much for joining us for Peak Positioning. We've enjoyed having you and I hope you've learned new tools and techniques for an even more successful practice. Hope to see you in the future.